Hi everybody. Let us do one more problem in Euler's theorem. Uh, before starting the problem, let us discuss the theorem just now. <laughs> first time Hi everybody. Let us do uh, one problem in Euler's theorem. Okay. Now, before that, let us discuss what is Euler's theorem. Very important thing is u is a function of x and y. Can you tell me how the function should be? It should be homogeneous. Then only the theorem is theorem will work. Okay. Now, once the function is, um, sorry, when u of x, y is homogeneous, it will satisfy the rule x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equal to n u. Okay. Now, we are going to do one problem to prove this result or to find the result. Okay. So, example 2. If u equal to x by y plus y by z plus z by x find x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou z. This has come in 2003, 2012 and 2010 papers. Okay. We are going to do this problem using Euler's theorem also just by solving it also. Okay. So, let us now start with this. Okay. X into dou u by dou x. So, before that dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y and dou u by dou z. Let me calculate. Okay. So, what is dou u by dou x? U are given. U is x by y plus y by z plus z by x. So, I am going to differentiate with respect to x. You remember in partial derivatives, when we are differentiating with respect to x, other variables are taken as constants. Please keep that in mind because you are used to keep x and y as variables. Be very careful. Okay. Now, just look at x by y. In this x is a variable for us, y is considered as a constant when we are differentiating with respect to x. So, you will not go for u by v. Please remember. So, x derivative is 1 and y will stay as it is, as if it is a number. And y by z, when you look at it, y, y and z both are constants for us when we are differentiating with respect to x. So, what will be the derivative of this? This full is a constant. So, its derivative will be 0. Yeah. And now z by x. When you are doing z by x, you know z is a constant. So, x. so let me write it as it is. And you know this is 1 over x. 1 over x derivative is minus 1 by x square. Okay. So, let me write it neatly. Dou u by dou x is equal to 1 by y minus z by x square. So, we keep it ready. Now, we are going to now differentiate and find what is dou u by dou y. Remember, when you do dou u by dou y, what are all the constants? x and z will be constants. Okay. Now, first one, when I am going to differentiate this, you know x is a constant. So, write it as it is. And 1 by y derivative is minus 1 by y square. And when you are going to differentiate y by z, z is a constant. So, write it as it is. And the derivative of y is going to be 1. And when you are differentiating with respect to y, z as well as x are constants. Can you tell me what is the derivative of this whole thing then? As it is a constant, its derivative will be 0. So, I am not writing it over there. So, dou u by dou y equal to minus x by y square plus 1 by z. Now, I am going to find dou u by dou z. So, when I am going to do dou u by dou z, you know <coughs> x and y are constant. So, x and y are constant means this full part is a constant. What is its derivative? 0. Now, y by z, now y is a constant but z is a variable for us. So, keep the constant as it is. Derivative of the variable 1 by z derivative is negative 1 by z square. And in z by x, you know 1 by x is a constant and derivative of x z is 1. So, you must do very carefully. That's all. So, now I am going to simplify this or write it in a better way. That's all. So, minus y by z square plus 1 by x. 
I found everything and now I am going to use Euler's theorem. So x in, I am going, uh, sorry, I am supposed to find this value. So I am just going to find x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou, z, dou y and z dou u by dou z, okay. So dou u by dou x is ready here. So I will just erase this part and this is x into 1 by y minus z by x square. So x dou u by dou x is dou u by dou x I copy x as it is. Okay. Plus y into dou u by dou y. What is dou u by dou y minus x by y square plus 1 by z. Let me copy that. plus z into what is dou u by dou z sorry here I have it it is dou u by dou z which is minus y by z square plus 1 by x now it is left out just to simplify this so this is x by y minus z 1x will cancel z by x plus into minus is minus 1y will cancel that is x by y plus into plus is plus y into 1 by z is y by z plus sorry plus into minus is minus 1z will cancel y by z plus into plus is plus z into 1 by x is z by x you can see now x by y with positive sign and negative sign z by x with negative sign positive sign x by y by z with positive sign, y by z with negative sign. So you know the net answer is 0. Therefore, the value of x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou x is 0. Okay. But we did it in a longer way. Suppose if we are going to use, if you had used Euler's theorem, what would have happened? Okay. You know, I am supposed to replace x by lambda x, y by lambda y and z by lambda z. Okay. So, <coughs> so as it is for three variables, now I will include one more in the Euler's theorem. So, the theorem becomes x dou u by dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou z equal to n u. So, from this you must have understood we can extend, into, extend it to any number of variables. Okay. Now, let me take the function. So the function is u of x, y, z, which is nothing but x by y plus y by z plus z by x. So if I replace x by lambda x, y by lambda y and z by lambda z. So this is lambda x, lambda y, lambda z. You will get lambda x divided by lambda y plus lambda y divided by lambda z plus lam lambda z divided by lambda x. As I told you, we will take up lambda from the numerator and the denominator. So, you get x by y plus y by z plus z by x. So, you get here lambda power 0. As I told you, whatever power comes here, that is going to be your n. Okay. So, n times u. So, you know x dou u by dou, dou x plus y dou u by dou y plus z dou u by dou x is equal to 0 times of u which is nothing but 0. So, that only we got here also. So, there is nothing wrong if you forget to do by Euler's theorem. But you use it, the proof is very simple or to find the answer also. If you use the theorem, it will be simple. Thank you.